Hello world, this is exercise 20768. Four int variables x1, x2, y1, and y2 have been declared and been given values. Write an expression whose value is the difference between the larger of x1 and x2 and the smaller of y1 and y2. So we're using conditional operators with this this exercise and these exercises. So we're going to continue, though we might be able to do it otherwise. We've given random values for x1, 2, y1, and y2. Let's talk for a second about what we want to see. The larger of x1 and x2, so it'll be 9, and the smaller of y1 and y2 will be 2. So the difference between them will be 9 minus 2. So we should get 7. And we're going to have a, a print statement so that we can see our result. If you don't know the, the difference or the, the conditional statement, yet the way that it works is you have, you have a yes, no question, followed by a question mark, followed by an if true, if yes, then a colon, and if no. So this one is actually going to going to use two two different conditional expressions, conditional operators, because we're going to use a conditional operator for here to determine the larger, and for here to determine the smaller. And this is actually a value, though the value is one of two things. This is considered a value. So let's just inside our print statement. We're going to double this so we have our two values, and then we'll just replace it. So the statement will print what we want, which is the larger of the x, y, we're going to plug in to make that that, the difference, so minus, and then the smaller of y1 and y2. So the larger of x1 and x2, we could say that x1 is greater than x2, as that is our question. If x1 is greater than x2, then we want it to be x1. If it's not, we want it to be x2. We could just as well have written these backwards. We could say x2 is greater than x1. If that's the case, then we want x2 and if not, we want x1. So there's different ways to, to write this answer. I'll leave it like this for no particular reason. It's all right. And the smaller of y1 and y2, so let's say y1 is less than y2 is our test. If that's true, then we want y1 because we want the smaller. If, if it's not true, then we want y2. So this should give us 9, this should give us 2, and this, which will be our whole expression, should give us 7. Let's compile it and run it and see how we did. We have our 7 here, so we have our answer. That is our expression.